Photography on a Budget Part 2. So, I really want a full frame. I'm enjoying the heck out of uh, my XT. And it has given me zero issues. And I still believe that the 8 megapixels is good for how I share my photos online. Uh, Flickr, Instagram, Facebook, uh, it, it's, it's really good. I want to upgrade to full frame and I really want the 5D Mark II and I will have one but after thinking about it because I had pretty much decided the 5D Mark II was going to be my next camera uh, after thinking about it some more I told myself that I, I could find a camera in between uh, this and full frame and after a bunch of research, I decided to go for the T2i. It's pretty much a Canon 7D, just not as quick with the frames per second and a couple other things, but it's, it's pretty much the same camera. Um, I found this on Craigslist. Guy was asking 350 bucks with two lenses that I just obviously didn't need. They're both, both were kit lenses. And I wouldn't have any need for either one. And after checking Amazon, uh, and Amazon's tricky, it'll show you we have used T2i starting at $200. And then you go to it and you read the ads. It's like, well, it works, but the screen's broken or this and that and the other. So it really jumped up in price really fast uh, on the T2i's used on Amazon. It, it would have been over $300 uh, to get one in really really good shape which is what I wanted so on Craigslist the guy was asking 350 like I said with two lenses uh, battery and charger and I immediately asked him you know will are you willing to sell just the body and he came right back I would have been willing to pay 250 easily for this and he came right back and said 225 sold uh, went, and, went and got it met the guy and ironically he upgraded from this to a 7D which I found we I didn't ask him about it um, because I'm, I'm upgrading from an XT to a T2i so what the hell do I know uh, but I still found it funny so the the biggest thing and I don't want to get uh, forgetful here and not mention all the things I want to mention in this vid video. The biggest thing for me is the screen. The screen is great. The live view uh, is amazing. So for landscape photography or uh, macro, using that live view and it has that option for really blowing up that that center portion of the screen, or or really any portion, I guess you can you can really blow up any of the focus points. I guess is how it works. I'm still learning it, um, but yeah, and you can really fine-tune the focus on this. But there's something else I want to talk about with the focus because it really upset me this weekend. I went to Lake Gaston for the weekend, and we rented a boat, uh, some friends, and we had the kids out on the this little raft thing. It's like a seat, and uh, I was like, well, let me let me bust this out with this lens which I love it's never given me any issues at all and get some pictures of the kids and then I found the difference between the two cameras <laughs> and I'm not I'm confused I'm not upset because first the the frames per second uh, it it's really not the best on this camera for that type of photography you know I'm in the boat I'm jumping around and it's it's just fast moving the kids are whipping back and forth and I had it set on shutter priority at 400. And I was really impressed with the buffer, I guess I should say. I wasn't shooting in RAW. Uh, I was shooting in the, the largest JPEG file size. And it's only a 32 megabyte card. or I mean, 32 gig card in here. Um, and luckily for me, uh, another good point for this camera is it takes the same SD cards my G15 takes. So that's a plus. I already had cards for that. But I ended up taking over 2,500 pictures, just really fast. Uh, the buffer takes a long time, again, shooting in large JPEG, before it 
starts to fill up and let you know. Um, and then it can't, it would, it would, it would be ready to go pretty fast. As soon as I come off that, that shutter button, just give it a, a second or two and it was ready to go again. So really, really good. But what I ran into was <laughs> focusing with this um, at, at, with a high speed object and I was not impressed at all and I think I need to I was looking some stuff up and uh, I need to, to, to do the manual setting on this to make this button right here where my thumb is my focus instead of the shutter button and I think that would have helped me immensely out there on the boat instead of just having to try and hold down I mean because I was jumping around I don't know how to describe it if you've never been on a boat dragging some kids behind you doing you know 20 miles an hour not very fast I get it uh, it's a big houseboat pontoon thing <laughs> but still really difficult so I think I'm gonna try that the next time I'm doing anything like that changing this bu button to the focus button letting the shutter button just be a shutter button but I was pissed because with my good old trusty XT, I've never had that problem where it it focuses where I want it to focus. When I have that center cross type on something, it takes a picture of that and it's focused on that. When I push halfway down and I and I focus it and go, it's 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 great. Now I get that it was a different. Uh, I haven't done that with this camera. I haven't been on a boat. I haven't towed anybody, and I get it. Um, but this just didn't perform like I thought it should. And, I, and let me be clear: out of those 2,500 pictures that I took, uh, I think maybe 30% of them were focused correctly, where I wanted to focus, and it was focused. Very, very weird. So here's what I did tonight. Uh, after I researched some stuff uh, and still couldn't find the answer I wanted what I did was is I put this lens back on this camera and I had it in shutter priority and I wasn't trying to do anything fast I was just looking around the garage and focusing pressing halfway down and and I'm in uh, AI servo which is what I mainly keep it in I believe that's what it's called and I just want to check to make sure, yep, AI servo. So it's what I use on this one. And so I put that 7300 on there and I just went around the garage and I focused and by God, was it just a hunting fiend. And again, I just had, I was just using the center uh, cross type focus point. Wasn't using all of them, I was just using the center one and I would just, I'd, I'd move the camera, I'd focus on something that I knew I could focus on, not, you know, not pointing at the damn wall, something that it should be able to focus on, and it would just hunt, 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 and finally settle down. I said, okay, let me put it on this one. Put the lens on this one, and as you can see, it's still on it. I did the same thing, I went to the same areas, same settings, and it would hunt a teeny tiny bit and have it, and sometimes it wouldn't hunt at all, like if I was just moving you know, from, from here to here, here, you know, depending on my, my distance, you know, from, you know, focusing, let me get my finger there, from this point to that point, you know, where it's not that much, you know, change, okay, boom, snap on with the XT, whereas with the T2i, it would be like, I'd be, oh, focus, hunt, 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 okay, got it. Hunt, 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 hunt. Okay, got it. And it was really, I mean, literally that that long. Very annoying. So I don't know why this one is quicker, uh, but now it makes me not want to give up this camera body at all because that's just, it's really weird to me and I don't get it. Other than that, I'm very happy with the camera. The pictures that were fo in focus looked amazing. Uh, and again, the live view. Uh, for landscapes and stuff that just uh, I didn't I used it just a little bit uh, this weekend but we were doing so much other stuff I didn't have a lot of time um, but really really helpful compare comparatively to this one so they each seem to have <laughs> good and bad 
which is weird that maybe it's because the camera's newer and it has more technology that it's 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 hunting more with the lens i i just i don't understand why but i'm going to try changing that button again this to be my focus and we'll we'll i'll do some testing and uh, let you guys know peace